Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Welcome to our first long-awaited podcast, The View from the Afternoon. Still working out the kinks a little bit, but we've been kind of postponing this for so long that we kind of figured, let's just fucking get on with it. Let's do it. So today, it's me and, of course, Boom. everyone's favourite skinny fat man. <laughs> Here I am. Matty Bridey. A new man. And um, how are you feeling? You all right? I'm feeling good, mate. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Can we just acknowledge this is a bit awkward? <laughs> it is a bit. Uh, <laughs> what we were saying <laughs> is we're already like best mates. <laughs> so it's like, oh, so what have you been up to then during this lockdown, Matthew? We've already had this conversation. <laughs> I know how Rob is and he knows how I am. It's just awkward. It is. So now that's out of the way and we've acknowledged that it's a bit less awkward. Um, the whole point for this first podcast, it's a bit of a pilot, so we might change it. We probably will because the sun's out and it's doing my fucking head in already. Um, but we're here to talk about Matthew Brady's weight loss. My weight loss. It's been well documented. I've begged it apparently. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> mate. You but are. why wouldn't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I can slate you for begging it on Twitter, but I was uh, begging for 700 likes today to get the video out. So we're all medicating in our own ways. That is true, mate. That is true. And that co- that'll come up later in the podcast, I feel. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll I'm excited. Um, so you've had tons of messages, tons of support from the viewers because yeah. people don't know, you used to be a big fat cunt. I was a massive fat bastard. You were big. I was a big fat cunt. Mm-hmm. And I'm now less of a fat cunt. I'm still a cunt, yeah. just not fat anymore. <laughs> just a bit skinnier. Yeah, pretty, skinny cunt. Pretty, and you're in better shape than the last time I saw you, to be honest. Last time I saw you, you looked like... I, I looked like I'd been on a round of chemo. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. It was unfortunate, and like I looked ill. Mm. And now I've been yeah. eating my, my buttons. And yeah, I've seen you got some uh, buttons there. The sun's out, which is fucking really annoying. Um, so you've had a million fucking messages yeah, from people uh, about asking, how did you lose your weight? And I don't think there's a secret, really, is there? There, is, there isn't really a, a secret. Um, and I know it sounds silly, but it's just those people. <laughs> I'm and sorry, I, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> this sun is fucking ridiculous. I'm going to have to get my fucking sunglasses. It's sh- <laughs> Keep them busy. Keep them busy. This is why we do a pilot. So, yeah, we've had tons and tons of messages, and it's been lovely. Truly heartwarming to receive so many nice comments, um, so many people asking for advice, um, people just messaging and reaching out, saying that they've been in a difficult position and they're wanting to do the same thing. And I'm truly sorry, because there's probably three quarters of the messages I've received I've just not been able to reply to because I'm either too busy or, in all honesty, too lazy. Couldn't find my sunglasses. Could you not? No. Oh, shit. They'll be in the jacket pocket somewhere. I'll, yeah, just, I'll just struggle. Just man it out, mate. You've got it. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, obviously it's a pilot one. Um, do you have any kind of, like, flow that you want me to go with this or any kind of, like, questioning? I think, for me, we're probably best going from, like, we start off with what it was before and yeah, what well, put well, me in I that guess position before. You were, for those of you who <laughs> don't know... You were pretty stacked back in the day. Yeah. You had a pretty good physique. I'm sure you won't mind me saying yeah, that I wasn't you were an a athlete. handsome young lad. Well, yeah, I've always been handsome. Well, you and know, uh, but <laughs> sometimes you have a face only a mother could love, and that was for the yeah, for the duration true. the viewers have known you. That's you've it. you've been that aforementioned fat wanker. That's true. Face for radio. Sorry. That's it, mate. But I've been on a YouTube channel. That's it. So it's like So what was the what was the one thing where you were like, Do you know what? I've been fat now. Uh-huh. For ages, and now yeah. I just fancy being a bit more athletic like Kellis. <laughs> well, there's a couple of things. I think it's always been in the back of my mind. Like, I never saw myself as a fat cunt for mm. life. Yeah, because just I'd, a temporary yeah, fat cunt. Yeah, because I'd been really healthy, really fit, very athletic. It was kind of like this was just a, a process I was going through, mm. and it was just like something I wanted to do. Um, So in my head... I, probably at my detriment, I never saw it as a, like, this is going to be me for life. I know a lot of the viewers will see it as that's all they've ever known me as. Mm. But yeah, I've never seen it as that. So, so it was just the case of it was just the right time to um, stop eating, like, Burger King for dessert after Domino's. Yeah. it was. you did do that a few times. 
Yeah, man, like, no, like, I'm not going to deny it. Like, I fucking ate a lot of food. We'd go out on a night, and even back in the days when we'd have the Focus, it would literally be, like... That's the f- uh, Ford Focus. Yeah, the only the finest. <laughs> we'd be out, and it would be, like, I'd have already had my tea before we came out, and I'd have had a big meal. And then it would have been, like, right, now we're going to have a Domino's, so it would be a large stuffed crust margarita. So Domino's make it hard because that's kind of the only one that's worth yeah. buying. You're never going for a medium, are Never you? go for a medium at, at Domino's. You're not. Even now I wouldn't. But yeah, I'd have that and then maybe have a... It would be followed up by a Burger King. <laughs> and it, it would be the Super King size. <laughs> Again, mate, you're just cheating yourself. You can't afford not to get <laughs> yeah. the XL bacon double cheese. It's true. And um, and then it might be a bit of a Mackey's or a McFlurry. And then it would be finished. McFlurry for dessert, yeah. We finished off maybe with those those Chinese chips on oh, Dewsbury Road. Those Chinese chips were good. Yeah, and she had the old VW, the she Beetle, did. She didn't had she? The little VW Beetle. So yeah. It, yeah, it was that, and uh, yeah, that was just life. This fucking sun, man. I am, I am. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> t- typical TPD. This. Keep them busy again. Okay, let me have a chocolate button while I do. Can I just tell you all? These buttons are delicious. We're not getting a sponsorship for them, but the dark milk giant buttons. Mm. So here I am with a message from Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Jokes. We're not really. That would be good, though. If you want to reach out and help us, Dollar Shave Club, please. We'd take any help. We need it. Please help us. Right. Have you got your shades? Oh, you've gone for the Round Club Masters. The only oh, ones I could find. Stylish choice, sir. Called Club Rounders, mate. Oh, lovely. Not Round Club Masters. Well, not in our system, they're not. <laughs> well. Oh, well. Um, so, so uh, the thing everyone's been messaging you, aside from, oh, well done, Matty, can I suck your dick? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking blowing up your ego. Tell you, man, no I asked about him, mate, while we're on subject. Um, how did you do it? Uh, where do you begin? So, so one night, you're with the boys, and we're having... Fucking, I don't know, <laughs> I think back to America when we ate nothing but fucking junk. Yep. And it must have been, r- like, not too long after we got back from America where you were like, right, fat cunt mode's over, I'm going into Kellis vision. Yeah. Well, I think, like, the m- most important thing to say is that there was probably a hundred failed attempts at a diet that I just didn't even tell people about because I was too ashamed or I kind of knew it wouldn't work or, like... Everything just wasn't aligning. It would be like the next day. Like one day I'd be chilling with the boys and we'd be out to 12. I'd be up at 6 the next day, so then I wouldn't be asked doing my breakfast. I mm. just couldn't gather any momentum. And so that's important to say. And also, it's quite important to say, I have no fucking knowledge about proper diet, nutrition, health, exercise. But, uh, didn't you study something at uni that was kind of like about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but... Was that the first or the second time you dropped out? That was the second time I dropped right, out. Okay, after getting yeah. a triple distinction <laughs> yeah, for so staying uh, back and completing <laughs> the web. I mean, I almost got that as well, mate. Yeah, but you didn't stay back, did you, mate? You didn't <laughs> have the dedication in college. The, that's where I got the merit. <laughs> you got the DDM. At least I only dropped out of uni once. Anyway, cut, uh, moving <laughs> on. So, yeah, but... No, still, I don't think I have any, like, knowledge. And there'll be people out there with degrees and, like, years of experience in this field. And a lot of what I will say is just bro science. Pardon that shitty pun, but it is just bro science. It's just shit that I've tried and has worked for me. Mm. So please don't quote me. Please don't get in the comments <laughs> being like, oh, that's wrong. The fat cells come back. They only <laughs> go away for a month. Didn't someone say that to you on Twitter? You were like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like I've lost this weight, and someone was just like, bad news. Yeah. <laughs> the, the fat cells are going to come back. It's like the something. diet's over. And it's like, no, it's not. Okay. It's fine. I don't have much knowledge. But mm. yeah, let me just say that first of all. Um, so it all started, I'd say, I went to play badminton on January the 8th. Um, and I was a fucking physical wreck <laughs> playing that. Like, I it's quite a, it can be a quite a fast-paced game if memory serves from the <laughs> last time I played badminton, which is probably about 15 years ago. <laughs> don't try and big me up and like make excuses for me. I was I'm f- not. fucked. Man. I am not. And... It was kind of just like the moment where it was just like, right, something needs to be done. I'm getting to the age where I'm going to create like irreversible damage to my body. And also, it was taking its toll mentally, Mm. which I just didn't really share with the boys. We don't. We take the piss out of each other full time, all the time. It's 
It's a blessing and a curse, that. It is, yeah. I know the boys are there for me if I if I ever need them. But, yeah. Um, it is hard. Mm. I just don't then... And it was just a mental toll. Do you want to say? I always feel like you want to say something. No, no mate. Oh. When I say want to say something, I'll just interrupt you straight That's cool. Away. Just butt in. I will. Please. Rest um, assured. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it, it is then just like... It is a mental toll and it was hard. I was depressed. I was eating because, like you're saying, I was medicating in my own way. Did you did you try just cheering up instead of just like yeah. being depressed? Just try and cheer up. <laughs> just smile. Just try. The, just give that a go, mate. Works wonders. That I the bet. worst advice you can ever give someone. <laughs> yeah, I know, mate. <laughs> You've given it to me, you wanker. <laughs> but on. yeah, and we didn't talk about it. It was just at a point where it was like I needed to be accountable for myself. Mm. I needed to take ownership of my own problems. Nobody was going to come along one day and go like, right, Matt, we're going to do this together. We're going to... No, I just needed to do it myself. So from that game, I was fucked. And it was it was really hard because in my head, I knew what I needed to do in that game of badminton. But my body just wouldn't let me fucking do it. Mm. So... So you're kind of like a bad workman blaming his tools. Like yeah. you could have... You, you won the game up here. Yeah, <laughs> but, but you couldn't. I couldn't. You couldn't, I couldn't win get it, it physically. Done. You didn't have the hardware. No, I didn't, mate. It was we was running a XP on the old uh, floppy disk, mate. It, just won't, it <laughs> well, won't working very well. Right. Um, well, that's a that's a reference I can get behind. <laughs> yeah, younger there viewers, that's an old Windows operating system. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, we just changed the next day. Just started off with little bits. It was like, right, the challenge is today. It's not I'm going to overhaul my life straight away. It's just going to be... Today's challenge is going to be just have a healthier breakfast. So instead of having <laughs> eight sausages <laughs> in like four rolls, mm. and that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> it literally would be. So you only have two sausages per roll? Yeah. That's not very densely populated roll. Yeah, but then we have the, but they're, they're big sausages. These big are big cumberlands. Is, yeah, the big cumbies, oh, mate. Oh. You know, oh. <laughs> I know the, I know the time. <laughs> um, yeah, these aren't Greg sausages. These are big oh. sausages. Um, it would be like right, we're gonna have porridge, and then just every day, just adding something else on. So that must like, have been that must have been hard because sausages are so fucking nice, especially with like a bit of brown sauce or whatever you fancy. Oh, red sauce. It's yeah. called ketchup, you idiot. Um. <laughs> That does my fucking head in that at Greg's. Red red sauce. Mm. It's called ketchup. You know me, man. I'm a man of the people. <laughs> anyway. Um that must have been hard going from like I don't do you actually like porridge? Yeah, I don't mind it. Did you like it before or do you just like it now because you kind of associate it with the with like success, if you will? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a successful. 50-50. I used to have porridge when I was a kid, so mm. it wasn't something I didn't like. Um, you know, I don't think I'll ever have porridge again in my entire life. Really? Mm. Nah, I, I, don't, I don't mind it. It's all right. It's, it's it's quite nice. And eventually you start, like, adding things into it. So I'd start adding, like, ground cinnamon, ground flaxseed, um, fruit. So I'd have, like, fresh berries, so strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and just mix them in with it. And it, it tasted quite nice. And it was just something that I'd have every single day. So I was used to it. So it would just be like that little step that starts it off. So it's like you have something small, you make that small change, and then. The so when you made that change, is that a change to like the whole day's meals, or are you just switching out the breakfast? Uh -huh. But then you'll still have like I don't know, say two Big Macs and a Burger King uh, for dinner. Yeah, to start with, it is just yeah. that. So it is just you change something small, steps. and then you do that for a week, and then if you're successful at that, brilliant. What's the next challenge? So the next bit then is, right, I'm going to change my dinner. And that was probably the bit that was fucking the biggest transformation. And sorry to swear. I know that's not... But uh, that was probably the biggest transformation was then it was like, right, for dinner now, we're just going to have five raw vegetables. Oh, that's so fucking whack, man. <laughs> that is whack. And I guess dinner's probably the most difficult. Dinner and tea are much more difficult than breakfast, right? Because uh -huh. you wake up and breakfast is somewhat immediate but if you're working and shit you're out of the house so easy to just pop into kfc or whatever yeah so yeah. then have what was it five just five different raw veg for dinner so it might be like that'd be very filling though for a man who's calibrated to the bigger stuff 
It's not, but I was never full. <laughs> I was never full. Like I could constantly eat. Mm. So it, excuse me, it didn't make a difference at all. It was just like, right, I'm going to be hungry anyway, so I might as well be hungry. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. My whole diet was based around putting the least amount of food in whilst trying to get the most amount of nutrients in. And the veg, your, your parents grow their own veg, don't they? Yes. Yeah, so was this all homegrown shit? Um, not all of it at the start. No, it was just bought from the shop. But w- was it randomised or did you select what you wanted? Uh, there was, was probably a sample of it maybe about... Because what I'm getting at is, what's, what's going to be your favourite <laughs> mix of yeah. five and your least favourite of five? So th- there was probably a sample of maybe eight or nine different mm. things I would have. Probably my favourites would be like carrot, cucumber. Oh, just cucumber, just raw. Yeah, I mean, I know you, you have it raw anyway, tire, but, but Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, like carrot, cucumber, different types of lettuce, spinach. <laughs> what, and what is spinach? Mm? What's that? It's just like a leafy, just a leafy What's vegetable. It again? What is it again? Huh? Mm? Spinach. Okay. I'm missing the joke here, I think. There's no joke. I just didn't hear what you said, brother. Spinach. Am spinach. I say, am I saying it wrong? I don't know, mate. Spinach. <laughs> what? Julia. So spinach. Uh, kale. Uh, tomatoes. Oh, just a fucking tomato as part of your dinner, mate. That was Jesus the worst. Jesus Christ. I hated tomatoes. Yeah. Hate them. And then sweet corn. So would you ever have a time where you'd look in like your packed lunch or something and be like, fuck's sake, there's two tomatoes in there. <laughs> yeah. I could have had like a kale and a spinach. Yeah. But I'd try and mix it on this own. I'd try and put three things I liked and two things I didn't like. <laughs> yeah. So it might be um, sweet corn, carrot, cucumber. Three, yeah, sweet corn's a good one. And then maybe celery. Because somebody told me that celery cons- burns more calories, yeah, trying to break just, it down. Apparently, there's just no in it. I don't know how true that is. But, but it gives you some vitamins as well. Mm. And, yeah, maybe two th- tomatoes. Oh. But those tomatoes would make me sick. Literally sick? I would gip him up. <laughs> just don't eat them then, mate. I know, but... So what you're saying is it's a kind of a bulimic weight loss that you've done. You've been eating tomatoes, <laughs> just making you throw up. Yeah, just threw it all back up. Um... You can even do that without the tomatoes by just putting your fingers down your throat. Oh. That's, that's what I do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I didn't think of that. Like yeah, it's, it's a bit that. easier. Yeah, maybe I'll try that next. Give that a go, Next mate. round. Next round when you're, when you're a fat cunt again. <laughs> yeah, give me try two that. years to get back. Um, So, yeah, we'd do that. And and then it'd just be tea would be like whatever gets cooked for us. So it's always a good meal, like a homemade meal. My mum's got experience within yeah, the cooking mad industry. In the kitchen, and like, like I mean, makes I haven't the it, but the shit that best. I've seen that she makes is ridiculous. Yeah, my mum makes the best food. So it's it's a genuine, I'm very lucky that my mum, everything's cooked from scratch. Three, four raw vegetables. Um, Yeah. So it was on about those just little small changes and making them consistent mm. and just being disciplined about them as well. Um, it Then after probably a month of doing those little small changes, started to see some loss. So I like, lost two stone in the first month. And I remember coming round. And I'd like start running up the stairs. At, um, oh, at East Point. At East Point. Yeah. I remember you'd show up to the fucking door out of breath every day. Yeah. And I remember like there was the first video. I can't remember. It might have been we was reviewing the download lineups or we was doing something. Mm. And I didn't really notice anything. But people already started commenting saying like, well done. Like Bridie's lost a little bit of weight. Bridie's done well. It kind of spurs you on, and then it was the next stage was then right. How do I do some kind of form of fitness every day? So right. it might have been then like right. I'm going to start walking. So I'd just use the health app on my iPhone, mm. and I know it's not very accurate, but if I just figured if I was doing it consistently every day, that was the benchmark. The benchmark was the it was just the consistency of doing it all the time. Right. Um. So it might be right. We're going to do ten thousand steps every day. And just hold Is that myself. a lot of steps? I don't really know. Not loads, I don't think. I think I used to do about that when I worked at Curry's on the floor in a day. Yeah, it's not loads. So it's an achievable amount, but it's, uh, yeah. it's it's more than you were doing. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm then going to start going out of my way to do steps. Mm. It just kind of gets me in the habit and creates a routine and also creates some accountability. I had to do them steps, which a lot of it has 
this whole probably thing has come under the umbrella of being disciplined. Mm. And underneath that becomes like being accountable, uh, being strict with just with yourself and just being motivated. Um, but you just have to be disciplined to have all of them things. So then it was like, right, we've done that for a month. So then February's was now, right, 15,000 steps a day, every day. So it'd be like, that's actually now you know you're that is, mate. That's, that's a day and a half at Curry's. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's <laughs> not easy, it. that, mate. That's a long shit. That's you're a Black Friday. You're, you're a big lad, a 20-plus stone guy. <laughs> so you're still 20-plus stone at this time. How big were you at your biggest? Um, my biggest, I reckon, when we came back from America, and this is unrecorded, was probably about 23, mm. 23 stone. On July 8th, when I weighed myself, I was 22 stone 10. Um, so that's the heaviest I've ever July recorded. last year. Sorry, January. Sorry, January. January the 8th this year when I, I'd played badminton. That's when I, you weighed yourself. Yeah, I went round to my friend, weighed myself. And it was, uh, yeah, 22 stone uh, 10 pounds. Like, big for someone who's only 5'8 short. That's a big amount of weight to be mm. hunking around. Like, how how much do you weigh? Oh, I couldn't fucking tell you, mate, but I can tell you I'm definitely not 5'8". Fuck me. Is that <laughs> how tall you are? Yeah, I'd say five so. 5'8". I, I don't want to overbrag. I'm, I think I'm maybe a bit taller. I think but you're a bit taller. But though. I don't want to be that guy that always gets, yeah. like, like, called Danny out. White, who reckons he's six foot and he's just yeah, definitely he's fucking not, not mate. mate. He's so full of shit. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck Danny White. Jesus Christ. And um, fuck Cleesby as well. <laughs> <laughs> While we're at it, Jake Valley. Yeah, Jake. Let's not get started on you doing vlogs as well, mate. Yeah, I'll tell you, you what, mate. Oh, ooh, <laughs> can I come and use your your boy's platform? <laughs> tell you what, Jake. Fuck off. Oh, oh, Matt. Could you could you retweet my my video? Thanks, can guys. I fuck? Thanks for the support, guys. I'm tweeting about losing weight. Yeah, Jake. I did it when you helped me at GTA. I don't need to do it anymore now because you're not selling my weed or coke anymore. Fuck your vlog. <laughs> I'm joking. Check Jake Varley's vlog out. It it's not really good. even a vlog. It's just like a nice... Edited. Because if it was a vlog, then it'd be like, what's the fucking point, Jake? Like, would, <laughs> we've got we've got it covered already. Locked. But it's great that he does that. kind. Of, I don't know if you watched his Spain one. Yeah. It was a really good kind of different take on our trip. It's just good because he's doing something. Yeah, more power to the lad, man. Big up, Val. It reminds me of Nomadic Fanatic. <laughs> oh, well, there's YouTuber a YouTuber I love. Why do you... Oh, he's so shit, that guy. <laughs> he's so shit. No, he just makes me excited. He, right. he is shit. Anyway, we drifted. So, yeah, 15,000 steps. And then the next month it was right, 20,000 and so on. And then it'd be like, we went into lockdown by March time. Mm. So it was a blessing. Yeah, that probably made things like significantly easier for you because... We're not meeting up all the time asking to go for like a fucking Mackey's or yeah, but over to like YFC or something. This is something I'm really keen to avoid people like linking the weight loss to COVID and lockdown because there was already... You want all the credit for yourself. Yeah, there was already five stone lost prior lockdown. So there was already 50% of the weight loss. What it did though, and I have to give it credit is... Those hard to lose stones. So when you've got rid of the easy ones when you're fatty and then you've come down to the hard, it gave me the opportunity to be able to do things like go cycling mm. twice a week. I hope um, at no point during the lockdown you went cycling with any of your friends. I hope that was all. Um, I wouldn't do that. No, that would be irresponsible. That would be irresponsible. Yeah. Or something like that. You know me, I'm not irresponsible. I wouldn't go cycling down the canal. And do you know what? I don't. I, I feel like I need to say as well, even though no one's asking me, I wouldn't do that either. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I and just I, wouldn't. That's it. I wouldn't do it, mate. It no. wouldn't happen. It would be irresponsible. It would be childish. It would be immature to do something no. like go on a quick bike ride distanced by two meters. Anyway, following government <laughs> guidelines, I still wouldn't do it. Uh, but yeah, so I'd do that. And then it was as um, the wonderful Boris Johnson started relaxing the lockdown laws. Um, I'd then maybe meet up with with Ryan and we'd have a three to four metre social distanced run. <laughs> so you'd even take that distance in to double the government recommended guidance? Well, yeah, Raz couldn't keep up. <laughs> well, this is a funny thing, actually, and um, Raz won't mind us slating him because it's all we fucking do. Um, <laughs> but Razzy has been going to the gym for like fucking probably about five years now and he's never been in worse shape than he is now. 
Oh, he hasn't. Um, He's really got the hourglass um, body. So, you think Big Fat Bridie, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah, that's and, fine. Um, Pear-shaped Ryan England. And I, believe it or not, I'm, a, I'm not perfect myself. <laughs> um, but you guys would link up and run every week, right? Yeah, we started on a, on a Wednesday. We started running a 5K. And I was, I'll be honest, I was terrified the first time I agreed to do it. Hmm. I was terrified. I was like, I don't think I could run. Anywhere near as fast as Raz. Yeah, I, well, I couldn't even run. I felt like I can't even run 200 metres. I, I hadn't run since probably... I gave up rugby when I was 20. That was probably the last time, apart from the burger van, I've ever run. So it was just like... What do you mean, the burger van? Well, like when the burger van came round to places. <laughs> I'd be like running <laughs> for... like that ice cream <laughs> van. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shelling <laughs> out burgers through the fucking window. Um, so yeah, I was scared. And then, to be fair, Raz did a great job because Raz pushes himself to a level and then won't push himself any further. <laughs> Yeah, which in I know that sounds like a diss to Raz, but it's not. It was ideal for me. Mm. It worked really well because that we'd we'd maybe run, I don't know, five hundred meters, and then we'd have a walk for a hundred, and then again do five hundred. It was a nice pace, five k. The five k's were coming in at like thirty three minutes, yeah, which was comfortable for me and nice. Mm. Um, but yeah, eventually started beating Raz. Yeah, it's hard. It's like it must have been awkward when like you. He's taking you under his wing and that, and you know, he's kind of like helping you out and that. Yeah. And then you just start dusting him. It's like when you you first realise that you're stronger than your dad. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. So I, remember, <laughs> I remember the times I was. What's that about? Like that. <laughs> and um, you realise you're like you're stronger house than your dad. You're boy. like, this is I mine. To look after your mother. This is my castle. <laughs> I get to fuck my mum. Oh, perfect. <laughs> when I'm done with her, mate. <laughs> is that not happening in your house? <sighs> Not here, mate. Not in the penthouse. Just oh. <laughs> none of that shit going on. Bring old Kath round to the penthouse. <laughs> and um, yeah, started running. So in the end, we was like running three times a week. Um, so with three different people. So I'd start my run off on a Monday. I'd do it with someone that mainly wanted to walk, but then we'd run maybe a quarter of the five k. We Raz on a Wednesday would be pretty much the opposite. Like twenty five percent walking, seventy five percent running, and on a Friday I'd just go with myself. It would be hundred percent running, mm. so it kind of builds it up throughout the week to that Friday run. Yeah. In between that, on a Sunday, I'd then cycle thirty miles on my bike. That's far too many fucking miles. Hypothetically, if we were to go on a bike ride, mm -hmm. how far do you think we'd go? Well, I think if that if time, if we was to, we would have hypothetically gone on a bike ride. <laughs> If we was to bike, say down down the canal to Good place to bike, Saltaire, and then come back, I reckon we'd, we'd probably do about forty miles. Oh bloody hell! So it'd be a good ride. That, that would have been tough if we'd have done that. Yeah, and For especially sure. if I'd the BMX, struggled. if like oh, you, mate, if we had I a mean, BMX if, that the if back I was on a PMX, was that would oh my god! Now you, you have to ride all the ridiculous variables into this hypothesis. Yeah. Well, I'd obviously help out, and I'd if we did do it, I'd ride it all the way back and take that hit. Yeah, so a good lad, mate. In this, um, I'm a good boy. Hypothetical idea we've come up with. Oh yeah, true. So that just helps. But me we wouldn't understand. do that. That just helps me understand how f how, how relative far to what we did or w could would have do. done. Would do. Um, <laughs> that just helps me understand how far 30 miles is on a bike. Yeah, so I do 30 miles every Sunday, and then I challenge myself on on a Tuesday mm. when I was working from home. I'd be like, right, I get 45 minute break. How far can I cycle in that 45 minute break? So it'd be like, I'd really have to push myself. Just so beat like your best in that. Yeah, so I'd be like, I think my best I got up to on a full suspension mountain bike was an average ride at, I think, 16 miles per hour, which ain't great. Like, it's not a, it's not an ideal bike though, is it for racing on the fucking road? Did no. you go Did you go the same like route each day and just like kind of get like a little bit further? Yeah. Or did you just do whatever and just t tallied it up on the health app? So again, to start with, it was like like with the walking. It was like right, first first Sunday, it might be a sixteen mile bike ride. Then the second, eighteen. The next one might be the same course, but I want to see me get faster. Mm. Then twenty one. It'd be the same general route around my area. It'd be a bit challenging. We'd try and keep some, um, like elevation in it, and have some like flat parts where I can get a good bit of speed. But 
yeah, it was it was tough, really tough to start off with, especially when you're getting like overtaken by like kids on their bikes with their <laughs> with their pretentious fathers who have got like thousand pound bikes yeah, and like Oakley sunglasses. They haven't and even had to use the cycle to work scheme together. No, they've not. They didn't even have to get it on credit. They went on fucking daddy's Amex, mate. Yeah, they they did. straight away just so we can get the air miles. Um but yeah, same route, just kind of expanded. And the same with the walking. That's exactly and eventually I think it was getting up to about thirty, forty thousand steps a day on those Sundays because they were just such long bike rides. That's fucking ridiculous. Mm, it was good. And um yeah, the exercise kept kicking in and the food we I didn't up the food. So I kept it really strict and tight. So you're still eating raw fucking fruit and veg. Yeah. Maybe you had a bit more. A um, couple extra tomatoes in there on, a good <laughs> yeah, day. on the bad days. Um and yeah, and that was mainly it. That was the the blueprint for doing everything. Mm. I think the real challenge started to come when trying to slow the weight loss down and trying to like stop it and actually also trying to see some physical fitness benefits as well because it it does start to play on you mentally and that's the thing I always want to warn someone about um, is like mentally it becomes a real drain upon you, your personality mm. and just your, your whole life is dictated to by that and there was there was points where it was really hard where all you think about is food diet yeah exercise and particularly through lockdown i know a lot of people will have suffered and i'm very fortunate to have like a very strong group of friends like a strong close family um yeah it, it was nice like reading stuff like the sam pelly group it was nice reading people's like comments when they're saying, like, you're looking good, Bridie. Mm. People's messages, like, even the ones... I've not been able to reply to loads of them. Like, there's loads on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah, you even... Uh, didn't you even join the 1,000-plus Instagram like club? Oh, 1,500, mate. Yeah, welcome, my friend. I'm on the it's <laughs> great to have you. <laughs> welcome. I'm on the 1,500 Instagram club. Um, It was lovely. And that kind of support just Has gets you through. Has your plaque arrived yet? Mm-hmm. The like the plaque. Oh, yeah, the I think it's being plaque. made at the moment, yeah. but I think they because the growth is so high and quick. <laughs> I, don't, I think they're holding off to save yeah, funds. Everyone's yeah. struggled save on shipping. I and think just ship them all together. That's it, man. And I, I think also the plaque makers have been furloughed, so they're probably they're just coming back and getting getting you on the 2000, 2500 plaques yeah, well, ready. Yeah, out we, there, we, mate. We, we we both come from humble beginnings, mate. And Started at the bottom, mate. now. No, we're not getting, far from there. Getting 11 likes <laughs> back there. Only a year ago. Look at me now. <laughs> um, well, yeah, the mental aspect is massive. And, like, I know a lot of people have suffered during this, but stuff like the Sam Pelly squad just keeps you going. It's a really nice little community. I'm sure people will be buzzing to know that they've um, helped see you through in some way. Yeah, I keep my eye on that group. And um, What's the... what's What's the food that you missed the most? Like, because the, the, we ate really, we eat really well. Uh -huh. I think we we always eat really well. We eat well. When I say well, I mean, you know, we whatever we, we just want. have whatever the fuck <laughs> we want whenever we want. What have you missed uh, the most? Um, oh, everything. Like I can't. Oh, what a great answer that is, man. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> but I can't. Well, let, let's uh, imagine right now. Then say we were going out in car now, and mm. you were starving. What would what where would we go now? What if you could choose anywhere? And everywhere's open. Everywhere's open. Okay, so I'm trying to think what did I have when I broke my diet? Because I guess that is what I would have wanted straight away. Well, and I know you had that Starbucks, didn't you? You really enjoyed that that one Starbucks that you had that was like your first Starbucks in months. Yeah, but I had Starbucks when I was on the diet and still really strict, didn't I? Because when you? when Starbucks opened after lockdown, oh yeah, we went and uh, we socially distanced. That queue was atrocious. <laughs> that was bad. Socially distanced in the Starbucks queue. Because we definitely, it would be irresponsible for four lads from four different households to get in the same Renault Clio and wait in the queue for an hour. It would be very irresponsible. And we wouldn't do that. Absolutely not. I believe we were in your car. <laughs> um, if the Starbucks could open, then we could go and get a Starbucks together. Guess what? We fucking did. <laughs> we Stewart. did. Jesus, I haven't seen each other for a fucking month. Cancel me. 
I've made it. I've got the 1500. <laughs> Cancel me now, bitch. Um, <laughs> That's fucking absurd. <laughs> I've, I've achieved my goals in life. Lost 10 stone. Tick. Got the 1,500 likes. Tick. tick. I don't care. <laughs> Game's completed, mate. <laughs> You're I'm, mad. <laughs> I'm back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's probably the KFC. Oh, that's a whack choice. There's KFC. There's Gravely's. You see, I loved Gravely's. Fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips. Just nice. Tons and tons of vinegar. Oh, love it, mate. And a bit of gravy as well from Gravely's. Not with the vinegar, though. Yeah, I do. No, you don't I mix do. the gravy and the vinegar, mate. Rule Give me father, for I have sinned, mate. Indeed, you <laughs> <are>. <laughs> I have Disgraceful sinned. Disgraceful behaviour, my child. <laughs> um, Domino's. Yeah. Miss Domino's. Miss the Monster Energy Drinks. <laughs> yeah. I'm a newfound love, as we've already found out. These dark milk, creamy, giant buttons, mate. Gorgeous. I must go for a pack of them a day. They're, they're lovely. It's good to see that you're actually eating shit again. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You know what it actually is? What? You know what it is? What? Greg's breakfast. Yeah? Greg's breakfast. I've been having Greg's breakfast every morning because oh. obviously it's just downstairs. And the woman gives me extra sausage on a morning because oh, I'm a polite young gentleman. Do you give her your little sausage? Big sausage, mate. And no, I don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I would be unprofessional <laughs> for her. Yeah. Great um, breakfast is good. Oh, it's, it is the best. It does everything. Yeah, they're, they're coffee. It's not a Cafe Nero. That's right. The, the bacon roll, it's not the nice little independent sandwich shop that you see all your builders go to. Mm. It's not. But you know what? It's just a solid... Eight out of ten for everything. And it's cheap. That's what and I mean. I'm a massive fan of the Greg's Latte. I, I mm. excuse me. In a blind taste test, I would pick a, a Greg's Latte out of any high street latte. Really? I honestly would, mate. I, I love the Greg's Latte. I think it's fucking exceptional. I'm not a coffee expert, but I mean, Nero, yeah, neither am I. <laughs> that Cafe Nero la- latte is lovely. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it? But yeah, it's just an eight out of ten. It does everything well. There's no. You could uh, you could dumb that. Kind of fraction down to a four out of five. Oh yeah, four stars out of so nerd five. Um. So yeah, probably that. That was actually. I think that was the first thing that I brought my diet with was Greg's two Greg's breakfast. Yeah, bacon and sausage roll, red sauce, and a latte and a orange juice, toast as well. <laughs> Toast good. from Greg's? No, no, just just my Toast just mum's oil. homemade bread, mm. toasted. Yeah, with that was homemade butter on there as well. Oh, yeah, the homemade butter. <laughs> you know the kind. That's disgusting. Um, yeah, that was. I love toast. There were so many things, mate, because I'd been so strict for so long that just everything. That's I know it's a sh- and stupid. Is there, is there all now that like you would have eaten or scrammed down before? But now, like, you think, oh, I can't believe I'd fucking eat that shit. Um, not massively. I think when I'm in that kind of frame of mind, mm. so I am, I'm either all in or I'm all out. Mm. Like, I think, I don't think there's anything mentally wrong with me. But I, I, have, to, I have to be all in or all out on something. I can't be City on the Fence in the middle, Danny White special. Oh, man, just I'm fucking <laughs> Danny White, man. Sounds. Like, I mean, it sounds like he's not one of our best mates. He is like. <laughs> he that. is one of my. He is my like best, that. best, he is best he friends. He's a brother, but he's a very on the fence kind of lad. He really is. He's Danny has a loser's mentality, <laughs> and that's a mentality that I can't put up with anymore. And he's wasted all his fucking money on that stupid helicopter on GTA <sighs> that just yeah. got shot out of the sky straight away. He did. Like literally one. One shot from Jake's um, Apache or whatever it's called in the game, Buzzard. I would do him. But anyway, yeah, Danny, I'm not like that Danny City on the fence kind of thing. I'm either all in or I'm all out. I don't mm. commit to something and then not do it or do it until I slice my hand open, never touch the ashtray again. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, yeah, D- Danny was like, right, I'm going to start doing some woodwork from home. I'm going to make my ashtray. <laughs> he fucking sits carving this ashtray. <laughs> Must get like... 
probably 10% of the way <laughs> through the project, slices the fuck out of his hand. Varley's there in the kitchen having hot flush because he's seen <laughs> to blood. Danny spent literally all day in fucking Amy <laughs> and he was Jake. He did. We all were there. We were all there. Yeah, we were, but then we left and then he had to go back the yeah, next day for true. like 12 hours. It's, what was it? It's considerably deeper than it. <laughs> it was a deep, it was deep a boy. Deep cut. So um, his hand hurt so much that when he was in A and E, he couldn't even clap for NHS. Fuck. Well, he didn't anyway. <laughs> he had some choice words about the NHS when I was speaking to him. Save that for his. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm either all in or I'm all out. So that's kind of going back to your original question: is like when we're in America, I'm clearly going to be all out mm. and not not be bothered. That's the belly all out. Yeah, the the belly. Six pack is gonna be out. Do you have um have you got like stretch marks and shit? Is your skin all saggy or is it better than you thought it'd be? It's better than I thought it was gonna be. Like I was really worried and that was going back to what we were saying about like the I was getting to the age where irreversible damage was being caused. That was one of the main things I was worried about was my my skin being really stretched and just not looking great. Um there's parts of it that are amazing. But when you've lost over a third of your body weight, and it's mainly around that, like the gut area, yeah, the big old then, gut. Yeah, it's it's done well. It's um, it's come back quite well. There's still like marks. I don't know if people like on my arms there. I guess you can kind of. I mean, that's neither here nor there, is it? But oh yeah, I can really see them when you do that. Actually, Matthew, yeah, that's a <laughs> really easy to see there. But yeah, the little things like press ups really helped them out. Um, sit ups, just keeping active, doing bits of exercise. If I was to do what you've done, which is impossible because then I would not be here. <laughs> um, but if I was having a drastic change in weight, mm -hmm. something that would be um, of massive concern for me is my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, none of your fucking clothes, or very few of your clothes, probably fit you. None. I've seen you wearing some fucking baggy shit that makes you look like you're fresh off the ward from stage four cancer. Yep. Um, what's your, what, what do you oh. do there? It's just, I, I think for me, my, it was always just get to the target weight, get mm. to where I want to be or where I feel comfortable, then reassess from there. Luckily, mm. touch wood, inshallah. Um, what is that? Like, praise, oh, no, it's uh, God willing in oh, right, Islam. Okay. Um. So yeah, it was like, hopefully, like when we go to America, I can just buy new stuff out there, and it's another thing to look forward to yeah. in America. It's another goal to set, which is what I want to do. Right, but yeah, everything is super baggy. Um, everything is <laughs> just really loose. Like if I don't tie my my joggers up anymore, they just fall down. Uh, uh, now it's probably. One of the few times where you actually probably can fit into a pair of Levi's. Yeah. And these are the things that like I genuinely look forward to. Mm. Getting a nice pair of Levi's, being able to fit into a nice jacket. Levi's are not only stylish and well made, but they're affordable as well. Yeah, and if you use our code TPD T V Levi's on the <laughs> You will get yourself fuck all. <laughs> You'll get an error code. <laughs> <laughs> we can guarantee that much. Um, but yeah, so just nicer and nicer things, like tops, like I can wear, if I wish, my Supreme stuff now mm. because it just didn't fit before. It Even in the biggest tight. size. What about the Palace? You got that Palace yeah. top. I don't think I've ever fucking seen that. That one you bought in, was it New York, that? Yeah, I bought that when we went to New York last year. New York City. New York City. New York. New York. New York. <laughs> uh, I got that from uh, New York. Yeah. When we went to America for the second time. Yeah. Two times, you mean? Yeah, I've been two times. Yeah. Well, and just uh, for like a couple of days each time. Oh, no. Uh, just two weeks. Uh, this time we did. Well, hang uh, on a minute. If you've been for two weeks twice, that means you've been I've spent a bloody month in the United States, mate. Surely that's not right. <laughs> no, I've spent a month in the United States. Uh, did so, uh, this I'm little road, Route 66. You're joking, I've heard of that road. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a famous... I've actually done that road myself. Oh. With a big fat man, though. Not this uh, slimline gentleman. You're like the modern PS2. That's slimmed down <laughs> a bit. 
Just slim, uh, yeah, got the better hardware. Yeah. Upgrade. I bet there's some hardware that's uh, still in dire need of an yeah. upgrade, eh, Matthew? In the rare white. <laughs> 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 Only joking. Oh. Well, I think, I think I've think i probably covered everything that I wanted to chat about weight-wise. Yeah, bro. Is there anything else you want to chat about while we're here? I'm not saying there is something. No, I don't, I don't really it. know. I guess the whole point was to see if we could have a genuine conversation. I think we've achieved it. Feels that. like we have had a genuine conversation. Yeah, a good there's, laugh. There's only a couple of th- questions I asked that were loaded. <laughs> I knew the answer to. And obviously, if you were a real guest that, we, that people cared about, then well, I wouldn't know those answers. Do you want to answer some uh, people's questions? You look at my Twitter DMs. Oh, go on there, mate. Pull out the Twitter. If you don't mind. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Do you want to ask them? No, nah, you pull them out, man. Don't worry, mate. I've uh, answered all the birds. So there's only the guys left in the old uh, requests. <laughs> I'm joking. Are you on a... Uh, you're looking at Cleesby's phone there, mate. <laughs> okay. So, let's go... Let's go back a while. There's a few here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, right. So we've got here. This isn't a question. This is from Dan Dane Five. Dan right. Danes, I know that guy's name. He's yeah, is quite prominent in the community. I think. I uh, wanted to message after the vlog today and just mention. I know it takes hard work to do what you've done, and it's paying off. Inspiration to the masses, Bridie. He's a good lad, is Dan Danes. He was uh, with us um, on a lot of the like kind of late night fucking Zoom calls and shit that we used to do during lockdown. Um, that's a, what a nice message. What a yeah. good lad. It's those kind of messages that just keep you going and keep you like motivated. So I've got one here from Jason Odendal. I hope <laughs> I've said that right. Probably not, mate. No. Um, and Jason's really hit, started off and hit the nail on the head because I've not replied. But he says, hey, dude. Doubt your reply. <laughs> <laughs> and look at it now, mate. You're on the well, yeah, pilot yeah, episode right now, of mate. The View from the Afternoon. <laughs> um, just want to say congrats. Was wondering how you've done it, and I've been trying to ages now. Being a big guy, and I've struggled like crazy. Would have appreciate if you replied with some tips to get motivated. Well, I'm sorry I didn't reply, Jason. But my tips genuinely would be just stay disciplined. Start off with little amounts of changes. And the whole core of it is just around... Eat less, move more. It's a thing, isn't it? It's not like fucking reinventing the wheel, I guess. It's no. a, it's a, a tried and tested method, and you're living proof. It really is. proof that it works, eh? It, re- it really is. Just s- keep at it. The 1% every day is better than doing 50% for one day and never doing it again. It just make take a little step each day towards it. Like I can't remember. Like My health stuff was adding up. Let me just quickly check. And this this will kind of show the inclining steps. So January's daily average of steps was 12,000. By the time we got to May, it was 25,000. So it's literally doubled and then some. Yeah, and that's on the diet. That's so a lot of fucking steps. Is that, is that When you're cycling, is it counting steps? Yeah. Right. It did to start with before I linked my Strava. Yeah. Um, but We I, obviously live in the penthouse now. Have yeah. you taken the stairs up? No. To here, because that's a fucking mammoth job. I remember when we went to <sighs> New York in America, uh-huh. um, I was adamant that I was going to take the stairs up to the top of the fucking Empire State Building. And I don't think you can even do that, actually, but no, I definitely wouldn't have been able to do it. Even no. going slow, I, it would have taken me like two hours. Even even going up in the lift. Because I've done that ages, in New it? York as well. I've gone up to the top of Empire. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, New York City in America? Yeah, the one in America, New, New York, York, New York, New York, yeah. New York. Yeah, a couple of weeks stateside, no problem. Yeah, Empire. Yeah, man. Empire, Empire State. You know, State you know the mine. one? Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, the lift took ages. Yeah, well, I tried to walk down the stairs in this building. Uh-huh. So from top to bottom, not the other way. How long did it take? And I did it, but I was fucking knackered, mate. And that's where gravity helping me. Mm-hmm. So but I don't really know what my point is there, but basically I'm just lazy. Yeah, well done, mate. You've Thank you. Mate. You've done well, Thank but no, I've not. I've not climbed the stairs in this building yet. Um, oh, I've got one here from a, a good friend, Matthew Emerson. Oh, Emerson. If you guys don't know, which you won't know, because why would you? Uh, <laughs> Emerson is a 
A uh, viewer of ours is a great friend of the channel, and he spends a lot of time with us on Grand Theft Auto, um, helping us out, helping us sell some cocaine. Um, and just by saying that means we're going to be demonetized now. <laughs> so thanks a lot, Emerson. I know you're trying to help, but you've actually fucked it up. Yeah, well done, Emerson. You've fucked it again. Um, hey, mate, haven't spoken in a minute. I uh, hope you're keeping well, dude. All the best with the weight loss. So That's like, pretty cool. Yeah. Guy, yeah. Cheers, Emerson. I'm doing well. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're still managing to keep the flame going in your love interest. I won't mention their name. Um, but yeah, I hope you're good, Emerson. And we'll play GTA pretty soon. Pretty soon. I'll hold him to that, Emerson. I'll make sure. When, when are you free? <laughs> Let's get it calendared. Yeah, bang uh, that in the calendar. Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night. GTA with Emerson. Yeah, tomorrow night, GTA Emerson. Be on there, mate. I know you will. Um, who else have we got here, mate? We'll do one more. Yeah, we could spend all day going through these. I know, there's so many. Let's do one from Instagram. Let's have a look at the, just the 69 requests on Instagram. Yeah. Who have we got? We've got... Oh, Charlie Press. fucking time. All right, mate. You've probably heard this a thousand times. It's such an awesome job and dropping the weight. The real beast. Fuck Cleesby. <laughs> oh, this is a guy I can get me out. Cleesby. That Bugs Bunny looking motherfucker. Fuck that guy. Well, um, you know what, mate? You've done a really good job. You don't need me yeah. to tell you because you've got everyone up your fucking ass on the internet. But loving it. Hopefully, it's, um, it feels good. It's well deserved. Yeah. You've done some of that. I didn't think, you, well, I didn't really think into it at all, but, you know, I, I didn't. Wouldn't expect to recognise the individual sat across from me. Yeah. If you'd have told me this um, a year ago. Uh, the, there is a concern that a few of us have, which is that you're going to be um, less funny now you're not fat. Yeah. Can you can you comment on that? Because that's also a concern for me because you bring in a fair few views because you, you know, you're you quite funny guy. Mm -hmm. um, which is w the only reason that... You're on the first pilot of the podcast, to be honest with you, just to get some views in there. Just to get that. some clickies. That's it, mate. Get the old clicks. Um, but are you going to be any less funny now that you're not a big, fat, jolly Captain Crease, uh, oversized <laughs> uh, whale of a man? Well, I guess time will tell on that one. Mm. But for me, I see it now. I've got more energy. Right. So there's now going to be more fuckeries. <laughs> Even more insufferable than before. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So instead of the cunt getting tired after two hours yeah. and being kind of like... Uh, now you're probably going to get it for maybe five, six. Wow. So like well, I don't I might postpone my trip to America this <laughs> oh year. Dear. If I have to spend well some time in the RV with this uh, energetic. Yeah, guy. I think there's going to be a second EP for Captain Crease. Do you reckon? There might you be. You heard it here yeah, first, so team. We'll, we'll kind of have a look and see how it goes. I think I'll still be the same. <laughs> I hope kid. so, mate. I hope so. I know you will be. Yeah, the channel's kind of riding on it, mate. Yeah, so well, we'll see what happens. The views have dropped, but... <laughs> Well, thanks so much for coming and spending your glistening, glaring, sunny evening. <laughs> In the penthouse. At the penthouse. 14 floors up. 14 floors up, baby. And ain't oh. no stopping us. Um, Matty Brady, why don't you tell the people what you got going on in your life? Oh, nice. Fuck all, I'm guessing. Same shit that, we, that we've all no, got. No, we've got, oh, I've got... There's other goals. There's other goals. Yeah. Trying to learn to ride a motorbike. Mm. Trying to retrain myself in a different trade. Mm. I'm going to start trying to get healthier as in like... Why don't you try and learn a fucking instrument, mate, so I can jam with someone? What do you mean, mate? I've already got the old... Uh, What's that? <laughs> That's <laughs> not the what the fuck is that? It sounded like it was some kind of Egyptian snake charmer <laughs> thing, but the hand motion didn't match. It's the... Um, what is it? Harmonica. The harmonica. Think, uh, just yeah. a bit out of tune, that one. What should, I, what should I learn? Guitar, maybe Maybe that can be a 2021 20, goal. So the goals for 2020 were motorbike, new trade, and lose the weight. 2021 maybe could be to learn an instrument. We'll put that one in. Maybe the piano. Piano's a good one. Tough um, one. I can't. Because I'm always suspicious. Life, <laughs> suspicious about picking up the guitar. You don't know where it's going to go. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen or where it's going to go. But no, thank you very much. No, good work, for mate. Me. Thanks for um, letting us in to uh, your yeah. insights. Thank um, you for all the love good. and support from just everybody. Like even the people that I will try and reply to as many people as possible. Mm. But if I if I haven't, 
Oh, I don't. It's hard, and it? it is hard replying. Like, I get a lot of messages. Obviously, not about weight loss, but it is it is tough to respond to all of them. But they're all very much appreciated. And yeah, I imagine yours have been tenfold the amount I've had. Yeah, as of, as of late, I still read. I still read them all. Mm. It's just difficult because I'll reply, and then instantly get fifty replies back. Yeah, and no, it's not that. It's just difficult. It no, is hard. Thank Some, you. Sometimes I'll go on like this thing where I like right. I'm going to spend an hour. I'm just going to fucking res- yeah. respond to everyone. I get about 10 minutes in and then I've kind of lost track of like where the threads are and it's yeah. tough. But we love you. We appreciate you. Um, Bridie, thanks for thanks for coming this evening, mate. It's been a, an enjoyable and less awkward conversation than I thought. I look Ooh, forward to it. getting this kick-started properly. We obviously need to work on some sun shading. Um, probably need to green screen that other bits as well. Uh, but yeah, thanks very much, everyone. Um, that is the pilot episode of The View from the Afternoon, the official podcast from TPD TV, live on YouTube and all major streaming platforms. I think I think I can do that. We'll see Goodbye, that everyone. It's been a pleasure. Bye. We'll see you soon. Bye.